Okay, hi everyone, welcome to this training video. We are here in the admin account of a HA profile uh, and we're going to run through how you would create a work stream and then how you would associate some users to that work stream. Let's go. Okay, so it's right there, work streams. Work streams um, replace uh, district codes in um, Street Manager, but it's a pretty similar concept if you're familiar with district codes from Eaton. Um, so add a new work stream. Okay, so give me any three uh, numbers you like. We're not going to press save, so you're okay here. Um, give it a name. Um, and what, what we do, Kat, is um, we, uh, we use your two letters that everyone has um, to, to populate it. So, you know, if it's uh, K, KG or whatever it might be, you know, we, we don't need to type that in because we'll do that automatically. Um, don't worry about a description for now, but you can do that. But I recommend that you give the, the name, the number, the email, because then we'll pre-populate them on every job, uh, and it saves you having to write it out each time, which is quite a uh, nifty feature. Testy McTestface, lovely old job. Um, <laughs> don't press Add Work Stream. Nope, not going to. If, if we did that now, it would add that work stream straight away. So that's pretend like we've added a new work stream. And if we go home and go to our organization users and just pick anyone who is a um, planner, please, Kat. So that mm, fourth one down is yep. fine. And um, you see we've got two options here. If you've seen our um, other video on administration, you'll have seen us change the roles. But here we're going to manage the permissions. So click on Manage. Um, and let's pretend that we set up that um, uh, 345 or whatever, and we'll, we'll give someone access to um, uh, 021 FMC plan. So go on, and yep. give that a tip. And then you see here, we've got, um, if you go back up to the top cap, we've got full access, view and manage all works. So that's where this user is at the moment. And if you scroll down, you can see that we've got um, view only, self-explanatory, no editing rights. Um, so they, they, this user doesn't have any view only work streams, but you could, if you wanted to, um, give someone in your call center view only access to every work stream. Then they'd see the full list of jobs, but they wouldn't be able to do anything with that list. No. Um, fantastic. And just a reminder that this all applies to um, only promoters. We're not talking about um, highway authority um, assessors here. Um, and then what you've got as well, um, we'll just no access. So self-explanatory, it's just a user that you want to give access to street manager so they can um, browse the map and whatnot, um, but, but not see anything in the list pages. So if I click view only um, and I click this one here and then I want them to give them full access to these ones. They'll both, both of those will apply. It's not like one or the other. Um, I believe that the higher, if you've clicked, I'm not sure if you've clicked not, not, not for, for more than one. I'm not sure if it's going to give you uh, a conflict and say you, you've, you've confused us here because you've ticked the same boxes or if it just goes for the higher one, if you've ticked both. So it would just give you right access. But, okay. Um, okay. People smarter than me will have covered all that. Uh, and if we click no access, then that removes access from everything. Uh, yeah. If yeah. we if we click confirm access here, which we won't, but we would then see empty list pages when that user logged in. We don't even have the log on details for this user, but they would see nothing. But they could browse the map, which is um, why we did that. It was something people wanted to be able to give users. Great. Right. So don't touch anything here. I'm nope. just go back to our home page and this user's access won't change because we haven't saved anything. Yeah. Great stuff. 